let's consider the eighth example from objective two. The kinetic energy of the particle continuously increases with time. Here, the kinetic energy of the particle is increasing. Okay, so it means positive uh, work is done by the force. Then and only then the kinetic energy is increasing. First of all, they said the resultant force on the particle must be parallel to the velocity. Now, it is not compulsory that the resultant force has to be parallel to the velocity. The the resultant force uh, may have certain angle with the velocity which is uh, less than ninety degree. Okay, so here this must be is not true. The resultant force must be at an angle less than ninety degree all the time. Okay, this is true because uh, in that case the resultant can be zero degree or it can be less than ninety and it's uh, its height must be decreasing. No, that is not always true. Because this is the only case when the object is falling and its potential energy is converting into kinetic energy. But this is not always true, and it has this must not be. It may be. The magnitude of linear momentum is increasing. So as kinetic energy is p square upon two m, it depends on the momentum. So momentum also increases kinetic continuously. Then and only then the kinetic energy will increase. So the correct answer to this question is B and D. Thank you.